Uh, we deal with sexual content, products, devices, technologies, innovations, um, but frequently we're homogenized as the adult industry. Um, uh, I can't think of another industry that is uh, more explicitly identified in its opposition to what children are. Um, there, are <laughs> there are a variety of other occupations and industries and products that like uh, have political and social boundaries around them, alcohol, drugs, tobacco, war. Um, but none as like explicit in like its opposition to youth and children as the adult industry um, and people who peddle in sexuality. Uh, part of that's for a good reason. Um, there are tangible consequences for sexual expression, um, both innate to, to sexuality with sexual health, um, violence, uh, abuse, um, and, and culturally imagined. Um, and even more so when sex becomes a means of work. Uh, in porn, um, I in fact have a, a lot of very sex positive colleagues, and I mean that in the uh, both ways. In both, in both, ways. <laughs> <laughs> both the we and the like, we should have access to sexuality in our own terms, um, who do believe that uh, adult film, um, that even the age of 18 is too young for people to, to fully comprehend the decision that uh, the cultural significance of um, and impacts that a, that a career in uh, sex work would have on your life. Um, there are really tangible consequences there. Uh, the power of and risk of sex, um, uh, again, both innate and culturally imagined, uh, must be acknowledged. Like, they're real. But they don't have to be kowtowed to, um, as we see in the legislation against Estapasta and, um, and the history of the Free Speech Coalition. Mm -hmm.